I wanna read something to you. It might take a while, but I wanna read this. I think this is important because this, these are uh, attacks that have happened on crisis pregnancy centers and churches over the last 10 weeks. 10 weeks time. May 3rd, 2022, individuals uh, vandalized the CareNet Pregnancy Center in Frederick, Maryland. May 5th, in Portland, Oregon, vandals smashed numerous windows, spray-painted graffiti on the Southeast Portland Regional Resource Center. May 7th, activists vandalized a crisis pregnancy center in Denton, Texas. May 7th, Fort Collins, Colorado, activists painted on the doors of a Catholic parish. May 8th, Mother's Day. Individuals attempted to break into the Oregon Right to Life office in Kaiser, Oregon. May 8th, vandals spray-painted pro-abortion messages on the side of a pro-life pregnancy center in Manassas, Virginia. May 8th, a pro-life nonprofit center in Madison, Wisconsin, was set on fire and vandalized. And the words, if abortions aren't safe, then you aren't either, either were on the side of the building. May 13th, activists threatening, left threatening messages on the front of the Alpha Pregnancy Center in Reisertown, Maryland. May 18th, vandals targeted a women's faith-based medical clinic in Auburn, Alabama. May 25th, Linwood, Washington, pro-abortion activists smashed windows, vandalized the Next Step Pregnancy Center, left the threat on the, uh, on the outside of the building in graffiti. If abortion isn't safe, you aren't either. June 2nd, Anchorage, Alaska, staff member in Community Pregnancy Center found nails placing, uh, placed facing upwards in cracks of the parking lot and graffiti all over the building. June 2nd, Jane's Revenge claimed credit for an attack in which its members broke windows and scrawled messages including, God loves abortion, this is not safe, at the Agape Pregnancy Resource Center in Des Moines, Iowa. June 3rd, the Capitol Hill Crisis Pregnancy Center was the target of left-wing activists who threw red paint on the door, threw eggs at the window, spray painted the building with Jane Says Revenge. June 6th, Asheville, North Carolina, vandals broke windows, left graffiti on the Mountain Area Pregnancy Services building. June 7th, the reports indicate that the group Jane, Jane's Revenge firebombed the Compassionate Care Pro-Life Pregnancy Center in Amherst, New York. June 10th, there was a fire at the Gresham Pregnancy Resource Center in Gresham, Oregon. June 10th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, vandal smashed windows and put graffiti on the Hope Pregnancy Center. June 15th, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Activists smashed the windows of Minnesota citizens concerned for life's office. June 19th, Redford Township, Michigan. Windows smashed at the Pregnancy Counseling Center. June 22nd, Jackson, Michigan. Vandals graffiti that smashed the windows of the Office of the Jackson Right to Life. June 24th, Pregnancy Resource Center of Salt Lake City was vandalized within hours of the release of the Dobbs decision. June 24th. North Carolina, the GOP headquarters was spray painted with Jane's revenge threat, quote, if abortion isn't safe, neither are you. June 24th, St. Anthony's Catholic Church in Renton, Seattle was vandalized with authorities saying the suspect spray painted messages saying, saying things that I can't say here in the committee. June 25th, Lynchburg, Virginia, uh, pro-abortion activists vandalized the Blue Ridge Pregnancy Center. June 25th, St. Patrick's Catholic Church, Philadelphia was defaced with abort the church, uh, uh, spray painted on the outside of the church. June 25th, Paso Robles, California, vandals broke the window, spray painted the walls of the Tree of Life Pregnancy Support Center. June 25th, rioters breached the Arizona Capitol, rioting against the Dobb decision overturning Roe. June 25th, Vermont State Capitol building was vandalized by protesters who painted if abortions aren't safe, neither are you. June 25th, Cortez, Colorado, Heart to Heart Pregnancy Center was defaced with pro-abortion graffiti. June 25th, Longmont, Colorado, Vandals put graffiti and set fire to the Life Choices Free Pregnancy Services. June 25th, Portland, Oregon. Rioters vandalized Mother and Child Education Center for the second time since the leaked Dobbs decision. June 25th, Portland, Oregon. All Saints Catholic Church had graffiti put on it. June 26th, Winter Haven, Florida. Pro-abortion activists destroyed security cameras, spray painted the Life Choice Pregnancy Center with all kinds of threatening messages. June 26th, Tallahassee, Florida. St. Philip's AME Church was targeted. June 27th, Upper West Side of New York, Militant Pro-Choice Network put graffiti, if abortions aren't safe, neither are you, on the Ascension Roman Catholic Church. June 27th, Portland, Oregon, protesters and rioters targeted Henson Baptist Church. Baptist Church. June 27th in Everett, Oregon, I'm at 37. We still got more, we got 50 of these. Everett, Washington, attempted arson attack on the Two Hearts Pregnancy Center. June 27th, Bellevue, Washington. Man caught on video smashing glass windows, spray painting messages all over St. Louis Catholic Church. June 27th, Lynchburg, Virginia, Pregnancy Center was vandalized with graffiti that included the phrase, if abortion ain't safe, you ain't safe. 
I guess proving that people who do this aren't just criminals, they've also failed English class. June 27th, a woman's friend pregnancy resource clinic in Yuba City, California had windows smashed. June 30th, in Nashville, Tennessee, Molotov cocktail thrown through the first floor window of Hope Clinic for Women, a pregnancy resource center. July 1st, St. Bernard Catholic Church, Madison, Wisconsin was vandalized. Messages put on the outside of the church that we can't read here. July 5th, Kenmore, Washington, CareNet of Puget Sound Center was vandalized and burned. Uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, July 5th, Crisis Pregnancy Center was vandalized. July 5th, Hialeah, Florida, the heartbeat of Miami Center was vandalized with hate messages. July 8th, Worcester, Massachusetts, Clearway Clinic, a pro-life pregnancy center. I got three more, Mr. Chairman. Pregnancy center sustained smash windows and two doors and three windows. July, 20, uh, July 8th, Worcester, Massachusetts, Pro problem pregnancy, a crisis pregnancy center was across the street from Plamer, was hit with, with paint. And July 10th, Bethesda, Maryland, pro-abortion set fire to the North Beth Bethesda United Methodist Church, and Bethesda, Maryland, writers destroyed the headstones of Wildwood Baptist Church on July 10th. And finally, July 10th, Bethesda, Maryland, St. Jane Francis de Chantel Parish was broken into, set on fire, the pastor spoke about the attack saying, last night our church was vandalized, people broke in, they overturned statutes, statues, they tore down the stations of the cross, they desecrated the tabernacle, and they set the church on fire. The whirlwind that the majority leader talked about on the steps of the Supreme Court, the whirlwind he talked about that he called for, this is that whirlwind. And this is just in 10 weeks May 3rd through this past weekend. There are more that have happened since in the last few days. But just in 10 weeks, that all happened. We should be talking about that. And we should be asking the Justice Department in front of the Judicial Committee, what are you doing about this sustained effort? It looks to me like domestic terrorist effort coordinated, it seems, in so many ways because the message was so often the same on so many of these crisis pregnancy centers. That, to me, seems what we should be focused on. But no, no, the Democrats want to talk about their radical pro-abortion agenda. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.